Sunday and I'm off to my last run in Valencia. I'm starting the recording from the get-go because today could quite easily be windy and one way to avoid a lot of wind is to record in town where there are buildings to protect from the wind. The wind is coming from the southwest today. I'm going to be running east. should be okay. It is eight o'clock in the morning. This is about the earliest I have ever run this year. Me and the run keeper lady. Just running past Abastos, which is where my aunt Carmen lives. Coming up on a major intersection. Angel Gimera. Oh, I have the light. friend, the beggar, isn't there this morning. Yesterday I gave him about two dollars worth of loose Spanish change. I think he's from Albania, Albania. Old European. I'm going to be running in the river park where it will also be sheltered from the wind. I hope to be in the pink pink soon. Still in a few second deficit of the moment. I guess if being in deficit is being in the red, I'm going from pink into black. Being in the black is being in credit. Everything is closed, mainly because it's Sunday, and also because it's 8 in the morning.
there are a few things I'm going to miss when I go back to Canada. Mainly, I will miss the warm weather. And the fact that nobody here expects me to do anything special for them. Not that that is a hardship, but you know what I mean. You have certain obligations when you're home to do things for people. A couple of people sleeping in the doorway there. Romanian friend. I'm totally free here of all obligations. This is almost exactly the same route as I ran on Friday when I ran by 21.1. I ran so I'm 20 seconds behind. I ran all the way to the concert hall where I took that picture of the fountains. Both the, uh, both the concert hall and the buildings on the opposite side of the river predate the gentrification of the Victoria Park. That's why they both are quite an eyesore. Before, that was a pretty run down part of town, and putting the concert hall there was supposed to spruce it up. But uh, architecturally, it's not a very beautiful building. If they had their way, they would probably pull them down the flats and put up a new concert hall. We're running under a few very old stone bridges. I shall probably see a lot of runners at this time of the morning. All right, there's one guy. He's obviously just finished. He's all sweat it up. Oh yeah. Down Allen's ramp. This is the very orange tree that he has photographed in front of. a few seconds behind, as she said. I found the other day when I ran my 21 that it took me about three kilometers to make up my deficit from the street crossings.
Yeah, so far so good. Very little wind. Here, in the river park, with my people. Not only are they basically Hispanic, but they're also runners. So they're doubly my people. Getting smaller. Ten seconds behind as I go under my first bridge. I have a rough sleeper. Pretty soon, the noise of the runners will wake you up. As you hear, I'm air mixing some music. This will give me the option of not speaking all the time. There's the runners that smile and the runners that are running slightly out of their comfort zone. They're the ones that are making those faces, the grimacing of runners. I'm sure that young lady ahead of me is smiling. She's not really getting away from me that much, but I am not going to speed up. I'm gradually chipping away at my deficit. I'm now seven seconds behind. the next split, I should be in the black. The nearest cars are 50 meters either side of me on the embankment, the roads. There's a road that runs parallel to the river park. I will miss the cheap wine, the cheap beer, the fresh local produce. 
the company of my people. I hear somebody behind me. might have done it. I think that was eight seconds ahead. I'm running on red cinder. Just about to go under a couple of newer bridges. Big pass, but a middle-aged man with a garment. Just heard the familiar sound of the kilometer mark on his watch. I believe the young lady is fading. I definitely heard a head. If it wasn't for those noisy runners, I would have heard a little bit. This is one of the oldest bridges. Pont de Saint Joseph in Saint Joseph's Bridge. Talking of Joseph, my friend, Crazy Legs, obviously didn't read the rules when he posted this morning. I left the picture up. I will remove it later when I get back. As I said in my comment, technically, it's not a selfie because somebody else took a picture of him and technically the uh, huge dog that he photo shot into the picture was not his pet but it was so obviously somebody's pet because it looked like a very happy dog Facebook has way too many selfies and way too many pets already. I wanted our page to be just images as seen from our eyes. running, walking, and basically enjoying it. 
There you go. Enjoying the outside. But not necessarily. I took a couple of indoor pictures that met the criteria of composition, quality, and interest. It's funny that there's not too many of the teams out yet. The football teams, the field hockey teams, as I run past the Torres de Serrano and under El Ponte de Serrano, the bridge leading to the gates of the old city. I guess runners are more of the early birds. It would be quite difficult to get an entire football team up and ready to play at eight in the morning. Well, there you go. The woman that I was following has just turned and she was indeed smiling. Coming up on another of the old bridges. The one that's just before the art gallery where I took a picture of the gilded altarpiece. Yeah. So far I've been recording for 24 minutes. So I have about 12 more minutes to get to the museum, not the museum, what's it called? The music theater, the hall of music, the concert hall. The tall thing, it just ran by me like I was standing still. I could afford to slow down a little bit. I hope you can hear the birds, the doves, and the parakeets. Sleepless about last night. I was thinking about all the things I had to do to get myself on this plane on Monday. So I checked my phone. And sure enough, there was a new show from the dog. Good show, actually. Very good show. Good quality recording. Lots of thoughtful content. Our friend Jim is going to be running in Chattanooga. It's a half marathon. I sent him an email 
because as you probably know, he has voluntarily taken himself off Facebook for Lent. But I'm sure he's not going to uh, ignore my email. Yet another stone bridge. This section of the park has a stand of what I call pregnant trees. They all have a large bulge in there at their bases. An unnatural bulge. They look like pregnant trees. I had a t-shirt that said Valencia es oro, which means Valencia is golden. 42.2. So I can see a mouse on the shirt. Not sure which year. I don't really keep track of marathons anymore. I have no intention of running too many road races between now and my 90th birthday. You probably heard that never heard did. My Sony is swinging to and fro at chest level, which is just about the height of my phone, where it hangs around my neck. I've come to the conclusion that the only ambient sound that could spoil a good recording would be if the music was too loud. That, I'm sure, is not the case. Or that the wind noise was too loud. This could be the case, because I suddenly feel the cooling effect of the wind on my sweaty face. Pretty soon, I will be checking my watch. sky. It's coming in at about, I would say, 30 degrees above the horizon. Makes it about 8.30 in the morning. 30 minutes on my clock. I started the recording in the entrance hall of the building that I'm living in. I have been in that flat for 10 days now, partly because some tenants moved in in Cuyera, and partly because I came back last weekend to see my brothers off and Norma off. Went back on the Sunday that she left for my last run on the sender. Let's 
curious. There's a modern bridge here that they have allowed a palm tree to grow through what would be the pedestrian walk side of the bridge. They must have built the bridge around the existing tree. Very considerate of them. So the next four minutes or so, I shall make my turn and say goodbye to you. I can see the ugly building of the music hall, the concert hall, the Palacio de Musica. I will search for its image on the web, on the intro web, and use it as the title photo of this episode. three minutes. Yep. As I go under yet another bridge. This should be perfect. If it's a little long, it'll only be a minute or so. That's okay. When I get back, I have one last wash to do. Plus, I have to remake the bed that I have been sleeping in with clean sheets. You put clean towels in the bathroom. See the the pond between the ugly buildings and the concert hall. This should work out just perfectly. The next recording will be from England, from Sussex. To be precise, I have a one day layover with my brother, sister in law, and nephew. Two minutes, ten seconds ahead. Then I have. 35 minutes on the clock. Actually, I could take a picture myself of this moment. So this is the running jackal at 36 minutes, saying goodbye to you from Valencia, Spain.